Applied materials, is this a stock you should buy right now? That's what we're going to try to answer here in this analysis video. I like to simplify things, and I'm going to discuss six metrics in this analysis. Earnings growth, PE ratio, dividends, return on equity, free cash flow, and intrinsic value. They're then put on a 0 to 99 grade scale, so it's easier to visualize the different numbers I'm going to throw at you in this video. The first five metrics mostly deal with how good of a business we have. No point investing if it's an undervalued piece of crap. That's why I save intrinsic value near the end. Earnings growth is by far the most important metric. A company that doesn't grow doesn't survive for long. Applied Materials has above average growth rate at 5.69% per year going forward. In a high growth industry, they may need to bump those numbers up. For PE ratio, most people look at it as a valuation metric. I don't base my intrinsic value on the PE ratio. The PE ratio to me is a measurement of hype. Too high and there's just too many eager eyes on the stock. Too low and we might have a hidden gem. Applied Materials also has an above average PE ratio at 19.83. Combine that with its growth, I can see why there's not too much hype around the stock. Dividend should be an obvious metric and something a lot of people ignore. I'm gonna put it out there. If you buy a stock that doesn't pay you anything, you're speculating, you're not investing. Applied Materials has a disappointing dividend yield at 0.85%. Yes, expected from a tech company, but not an investment. For return on equity, it tells me a lot about the management. It shows me how efficiently my investment dollars will be treated if I were to buy the stock. Applied Materials has amazing management with an ROE of 50.1%. That answers the question regarding the poor dividend. We know your money will go towards good things. Free cash flow is my way to quickly evaluate how dominant of a company we're dealing with. The more cash available, the better opportunities to buy up other companies, the better to research, and more money for marketing. Applied Materials has bad cash flow to the tune of $4.08 billion. The high semiconductor cost is likely the culprit to this cash pit. Okay, as I said, these five metrics we just went over tells me what kind of business we're dealing with. With a business grade of 53, we're dealing with an average business, decent growth with lesser hype around good management. But before we get our intrinsic value, consider joining my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. As I said, Applied Materials is an all right business, but we've got to check out the price to see if it's worth buying. Nonetheless, Applied Materials is worth $101 per share. Right now, we have a stock that's expensive. I'd avoid buying at this price. And now that we've got all the numbers down, we need to put it all together to get our final grade. Applied Materials has a final grade of 63, and that makes it an above average long-term investment. For me, the business is good enough, but man, that price needs to drop before I touch the stock. But hey, after this video goes out, anything can happen in the next few days, weeks, months, even years. But long-term is always longer than you expect. Keep this in mind, it took Warren Buffett 45 years to become a billionaire. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.